All right, welcome back to the basement. Today we're gonna explore my vermiculture bin, aka worm farm, aka my friends who live in a box in my basement. Um, all right, I built this for, well, let, let's just say hello to them first, okay? They don't like light. They, I don't think they like people. They're shy. Here's a thermometer in here. In here. And see if anyone. Where'd they go? They're very shy. They don't like light. There's one. There they are. Worms, do, they are very light sensitive, which I cannot figure out because they don't have eyes. So I don't know how they can be light sensitive, but they are. Um, so they, you know, they're in the basement where it's normally dark. Uh, what I did is I built a frame that is the, after I bought this big bin from a farm store, this is like a, feed bin, some kind of like a very heavy duty plastic. Uh, I've drilled holes in it. We're going to get into that in a second. And then there's another drainage bin down here. Because every time I feed them, I add water because we want to keep their home nice and moist. So I'm going to show you how I designed this worm bin and why I designed it that way. So we're going to look in here. Oh, this is probably about a 40 gallon tub. Um, I drilled one inch holes or, you know, half inch or one inch holes, plenty of holes um, all the way across the bottom, put in a screen. So it's like a window screen. And then this material that keeps weeds out, stuff like that, you know, so you can find this material at any store because these worms can get through like almost anything even the screen so you have to have this kind of material on there and I put it all down with a, a quarter inch screen but this is just to keep it from getting all wrecked this is going to get filled and I want to keep this nice and organized. And you'll see I split it, split the whole thing in two. So the whole thing is two sections. And the concept is the worms live in here and they get fed and they create excellent soil and it builds up, builds up, builds up till it gets to the top here. This is where I want it. Now I'm gonna start filling it up with food on this side. They're gonna realize, hey, it's, it's brighter and lighter over here. There's no food uh, and all the moisture and the food is over on this side. So they will travel through this screen into this area. Then it's safe to harvest all the soil uh, from here, and so I'm not affecting the colony at all. These are red wigglers that I have in here. They're the best composters. Uh, they're the best eaters. They'll break down. Um, they'll break down and and eat. I mean, an incredible amount of food, and but they they can't survive through a winter outside in the garden on their own. They are very, very happy in here. So, okay, worms like the same temperature that we do, like 65 to 85 degrees, they're happy. Um, I think it's like around 70, they eat a lot. And around like 75 or 80, 
uh, they just start multiplying. So either way, they like the same temperature we do. They could survive probably until almost freezing, but you know, you don't want to stress them out. So room temperature, they love it. So the idea is, yeah, we fill this up and then we start putting food in here. Also add bedding. So first I'm going to secure this. I just, I had this down so you could see how it was layered and I'm going to secure this in. So I'm just putting like a washer and a screw. Putting a, a few down. All right, so we kind of secured this to the sides a little bit. Uh, then we're going to use wood chips for the bottom because uh, it could get kind of thick. And I don't, I want everything to drain really well. So I want to make sure there's good drainage at the bottom and it's good organic material. The worms only travel a couple of inches below the surface. These do, the red wigglers do. So if I build it up to here, they're not going to go down and get tangled and get lost in there. But we do a layer of wood chips. Then we're going to add um, either like peat moss or uh, the coconut moss, I believe it is, like coconut peat, I think it's called. So this is their bedding. So we're just going to add that for their base. Or basically this is their composting toilet. Good. And what they love also this for bedding and food is shredded paper. So I just get this from, from an office. So this is recycled, reused paper. And I'm just gonna start adding some food. And but I'm gonna give them some of their favorite food. And that is tacos. Red Wigglers love taco night. So tonight's taco night. Yes. Oh, listen to the crunching. Hear the crunching. Start making your way over here. Mm-hmm. See, so once we add water to this, then this will break down into soft food. They like soft food. They don't have teeth. They cannot chew. So it's a good thing. I don't have any with me. I put some in here, but sand. So they like put a little bit of sand in there because they eat with gizzards, not with uh, teeth. So sand and soil kind of helps them. Uh, worms are also vegetarian. They do not like meat, so don't mix in meat and dairy in there. Um, they don't like citrus fruit, so... Um, vegetables, breads, starches, they love them. I don't put a lot of vegetables in here in the summer because also what happens is fruit flies. So, I mean, I don't put a lot of fruit and vegetables in the summer because we'll get some fruit flies in there. And I mean, a little bit is all right, but you know, this is a safe way to go. So we got beans and tomatoes and some plant-based meats that aren't meats, they're soy, so they'll love this. 
this is probably going to be like their favorite meal to get them started to, into eating that, turning it into compost for me. And I'm going to use this soil to do all my seed starts. And even when I put a couple of peppers in here, put a couple of peppers in to see if there's any left. Or, yeah. I mean, they just grow instantly. So even, I mean, there were little, little plants in here about three, four inches tall. In the dark, in the middle of winter, pepper plants were growing. So plants love this stuff. So I'll have no trouble starting seeds with this. And that's the goal and the purpose of creating this soil pile. And it also, not only does it produce soil, it helps us get rid of some of our food waste so that's not going into a landfill. We're just finding ways to use the things that we have and create new purposes for them. The worms appreciate it. I appreciate what they do. We're living together harmoniously in the basement. All right. All right. So thank you for visiting and touring the, the worm bin, the compost bin in the basement. And... Feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, it's Living Lightly channel on YouTube. And I'm going to water them down. And Facebook is facebook.com forward slash urban off grid. So until next time. Keep living lightly. Is that rainwater? This is rainwater?